Hey gems, so today I'll be showing you guys how to make an aloe vera moisturizer slash detangler for your baby's hair. I am using distilled water, Haitian black castor oil, and some vitamin E oil. So you want to start by cutting off the end of your aloe vera leaf. Um, we are only using the inner filling of the leaf, so you want to get rid of all of the skin. So I am cutting as close to the skin as possible because I want to use as much of the filling as possible and I'm just going to cut the filling right into my little blender cup. I am not using any essential oils in this. You can if you want to, but um, being that I'm using it for my babies here, I'm not going to use any essential oils. So I'm just adding a little bit of water to start with and about 10 drops of Haitian black castor oil and a little bit of vitamin E oil to keep it from getting rancid. And I'm just gonna blend that up. So when you're blend blending this, it's gonna get foamy. So you wanna blend, then let it rest. Blend, get, let it rest, and blend and let it rest until you know it gets to the consistency you want. I'm adding a little bit more water because it was a little too thick. And again, you see how foamy is getting, so I'm letting it rest and blend and let it rest until you get it as smooth as possible. And then I'm just gonna transfer it into my little squeeze bottle, what I'm most of it into my squeeze bottle, and I'm putting the rest into the spray bottle and diluting it with some more water because I'll be using that one on a daily basis and the one in the squeeze bottle just whenever I need to really detangle his hair. So this one in the spray bottle would be used morely daily, would be used daily as a moisturizer and the one in the squeeze bottle will be used as a detangler since it's thicker and has more of the gel in it. So that is the end product and you want to keep this in the fridge so that it doesn't go bad. But I'm just going to show you real quick how I use it in his hair to detangle. Again, I'm starting with a little bit and and working it through his hair and detangling with my fingers. I always start in the back of his hair because that is the driest part. And then I work my way around and I do the top last because the top of his hair is, it usually holds moisture longer being that he, that's not where he lays down the most. So you just wanna take your time and finger detangle and as you can see, his hair is already coming back to life. His little baby curls are starting to pop and his hair is looking a lot more moisturized. So again, um, I only use, well, I'll be using the one in the squeeze bottle as a detangler and um, mostly use it right before I either wash his hair or after. And then I may rinse it out and follow up with the one in the spray bottle as a leave-in. However, you can use it however you want, however you find it best for your, your babies here. And this has, this actually works better than any of the baby products that I bought in the store so far. So um, this is like my go-to detangler right now. It makes it so much easier to deal with his hair and I was trying to hurry up because he was getting antsy but I just wanted to show you guys real quick how I use it and I would be rinsing this out when I give him his bath and following up with the one in the spray bottle so as you can see his hair is a lot more moisturized and detangled and his curls are popping so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you decide to try this out let me know how it works on your baby's hair in the comments below 
thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already so that you're notified every time i upload a video and you guys will see me in my next one peace Oh, this is perfect And it's the magic And everything you do Is an night nerd Perfect dance The sun is missing And everything